Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am finally here to share with you um, all of these oils that I picked up from this house called The Sage Lifestyle. So this is actually a lady who like opened a boutique, I think, in LA and she eventually came out with her own line of perfume oils. Uh, now you can purchase these in oil form. They also do have a spray form that I am dying to try out as well. Um, these, you can find these on Lucky Scent, um, but only the oils. If you want like the full range of everything she offers, you have to go to her website. Um, yeah, and I definitely, I got a little coupon uh, card that she, or that they sent along. Uh, with my order, so I'm definitely going to be using that to purchase some full sizes of some things that I'm in love with, but um, I've got a ton you guys. I've got a ton. I've got all of these different ones I'm gonna go over every fragrance um, And I'm gonna tell you which ones were my favorites I've been testing these for at least three weeks now trying to test every single one of them before I sat down and did this video I've been able to wear, like wear test almost every one, but not quite every single one. So anyways, let me just jump right in. These are all um, named after like stones and birthstones, uh, different gems, things like that. This first one we're going to talk about is called Moonstone. And oh my gosh, this is one of the ones that I have to have. Um, This is the most beautiful gardenia fragrance I think I've ever smelled, literally. It is the first gardenia fragrance that I've ever smelled that smells exactly like what a gardenia smells like when you stick your nose in it. Um, okay, so Moonstone is, and I'm just gonna show you since I just had these little one mil um, little things I'll just show you the card so you can see just in case you can't understand what I'm saying so moonstone okay moonstone is gardenia and paper whites amber vanilla and musk uh, oak flot oak floss, oak moss and tobacco flower this is a stunning fragrance. It really is, like I say, maybe the best gardenia fragrance I've ever smelled. It smells exactly like a gardenia, but then it's got all these beautiful supporting notes, the oak moss and the tobacco and the vanilla, um, or the tobacco flower, I should say. It's just beautiful. This was one of my favorites. So um, Moonstone is a definite yes. I will be purchasing a full bottle of that. Um, the next one is called Sage, and this one, um, I'll show you the color of the oils too, because it, I feel like it helps give you an idea of what you can expect from the scent. So this one is called Sage, and Sage is cucumber, white sage, wild sweet pea, um, green musk, sheer Egyptian musk, and earthy tonka bean. And this one I thought I was gonna really, really love. And it does smell amazing in the, like when you're just smelling it. It smells so, so good. It smells beautiful and clean and soapy and calming and just gorgeous. But this one did not work with my skin chemistry. And I have found that with these oils, your skin chemistry is literally everything. Um, it can smell really amazing in the little vial, but then once it gets on your skin, some of them just don't mesh well and they just don't, you know, it's like they just don't sing. But then you get other ones that you think maybe, eh, they're not that great, but then you put it on your skin and absolute magic starts to happen. And Oh my gosh, I had a few like that where I smelled it in the vial and I was like, oh yeah, it smells all right, but you know, I didn't think anything of it. And then once it like warmed with my skin, it was just absolute magic. So anyways, this one does smell really amazing um, in the vial. It just didn't work great with my chemistry. It smells really nice. It's clean. 
Um, again, kind of a soapy fragrance. It's really, really beautiful. It just was not, you know, wasn't like a must have bottle for me. Okay, the next one we're gonna talk about is called Topaz. And this is another one that I thought that I was absolutely going to adore. Um, Topaz is my birthstone, but from the notes, I thought this was going to be my favorite one, one, like one of my favorite ones. And I do like it, but this one didn't like sing on my skin. So it smells amazing in the vial, but like I say, it didn't, it didn't do anything wonderful with my chemistry. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance though. So this is uh, alluring fusion of five vanillas from around the world with white opium, amber, Arabian sandalwood, oak moss, and smoky musk. So you can see all the vanilla, amber, um, that right there, I should have fell in love with this. And it smells amazing in the vial, but it didn't, it just didn't, I don't know, like I say, it didn't sing on my skin chemistry. So that is a beautiful one. I would highly recommend it to anybody, you know, that wanted to test it. It's really gorgeous, um, but was not a full bottle for me. So anyways, that is Topaz. I'll uh, insert pictures as we go through these so that you can see. Okay, this next one is called Sage and Citrine. This is one of the ones that I have not tested yet. So you can see the vial is full, whereas all my other vials are at least half, <laughs> half empty. Because that is the thing. These are supposed to be incredibly concentrated, and they are inc incredibly concentrated. But I go hard with everything. So, um, yeah. This is beautiful. This is another clean... Uh, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm going to just test a little bit of this on my skin. And then I'll smell it as we talk about the notes. This is beautiful. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, see, and this is one of the ones that it smelled good, like it smelled perfectly fine in the vial, but once it's getting, now that it's on my skin and it's warming up, oh my gosh. It is so beautiful i can smell citrus like lemon it smells warm okay this is white sage yuzu grapefruit cucumber bergamot lemon and cassis honeysuckle and sweet pea sandalwood green musk orris and tonka bean it's beautiful Oh, what a stunning summer fragrance that would make. It's, it's warm. Oh. It's like a warm citrus fragrance. Oh gosh, this is going into my must have pile. <laughs> so we'll go through, when I get done with all of these, we'll go through and I'll show you which ones are my must haves. Like I'm going to be buying, I'll be purchasing um, roller balls of them because they do come in, I think an eighth of an ounce roller ball for $45. You can get those on, like I say, Lucky Scent or the Sage Lifestyle. She also has, um, I think like half ounce spray perfume so like actual perfume um and i think with my favorite one that i know i'm going to that is like my ride or die of all of these i think i'm going to purchase the oil and the spray perfume to layer so okay and speak of the devil this is it so this is called onyx and this one you guys when i first smelled it in the vial i was like yeah i mean it's good it's it's fine and then when I got it on my skin, oh my gosh, once it was on my skin, I was like blown away. This is possibly the best coconut fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. Um, and just what it does with my skin, it just, the thing about these oils is that when they work with your body chemistry, everything is warm. It's like warm and cozy. It's like being wrapped in a beautiful, warm, cozy blanket. Oh my gosh, that sage and citrine. 
Wow. Okay, so Onyx. This is... Yes, this is absolute perfection. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing in the vial, but it it smells... It, it's just perfection on my skin. So Onyx is... Um, like I say, I will insert pictures of these bottles. This one, I might even spring for the... There's like a beautiful glass vanity bottle. I might even get that one. It's like a hundred and something dollars, but I don't even care. I love this so much. So Onyx is a black coconut accord, tobacco and oak moss, vanilla amber and sheer musk. Um, and it says sweet dew born of nocturnal tropical air. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but basically it's a beautiful coconut fragrance and it is the best coconut perfume I've ever used on myself. It's a stunner. It's everything. It's everything. I like, I'm going to live in it in the summertime. I know that. So anyways, that is Onyx. That was my absolute like ride or die. I knew I had to have it within five minutes of putting that on my skin. Oh my gosh. Okay. This next one is called Pearl and this one is beautiful. Yeah, this is gorgeous, but this one, um, this one didn't have great like performance for me. I really couldn't smell it on myself. And I think that this is probably, I think this would probably be one of those fragrances that other people would be able to smell on you, but you just wouldn't be able to smell it very well. Um, I think that, that it's that kind of a fragrance, but it is beautiful, it's clean. So it's described as both delicate and enduring. Um, sandalwood musk, warm vanilla, fresh green mousse de chine, and I think that's it. So it's a sandalwood and musk fragrance, basically. And it's beautiful. I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. If if it had performed better on my skin, this would probably have been a must have, but because it just didn't do great for me, um, yeah, this is going into the other pile, but it smells <laughs> incredible, really, really incredible. So anyways, that one is called Pearl. Yeah, and these little samples, I think, I think they're $3.25 or something like that. Um, Totally worth it though if you guys, you know, want to, um, if you all are interested in this house and you want to test these oils out, it's totally worth it. They're, they're beautiful and you can get at least two or if you don't even go as hard as me, you could probably get three or four good wares out of each little vial. So I think the price is fair. Okay, this next one is called Amethyst and this one, um... This one is beautiful. It's got lavender in it, but this wasn't like a must have for me. Um, I wore this one to bed one night and oh my gosh, it really is a beautiful uh, lavender fragrance. Uh, calming French Lavender, uh, Wild African Violet, Lilac, Sandalwood, Musk, and Vanilla. So sorry, these are... Um, if you wonder why I'm like all over the place when I'm reading the notes, it's because there's like this whole paragraph here and they're giving very like descriptive uh, word, like there are all these descriptive words in between the notes and I don't want to have to read everything. So I'm like trying to pick through and just find the notes. But anyways, beautiful lavender. You can smell the lilac. It's gorgeous. Um, lavender, lilac, you can smell that African violet too. It's beautiful, but again, it wasn't like one of my favorites. I didn't, I don't need it. Um, so that one is Amethyst. The next one is called Rose Quartz. And this is one that is, well, it's a rose fragrance. Um, this one you can see, I didn't have to use that much of it because it is quite potent. Um, this one... 
I think this leaned on smelling quite mature on me. It was, it smelled mature for a good long while until it got to the deep, deep dry down. And then it changed and smelled amazing, but I don't know that I would have the patience to last, or sorry, to wait that long for that deep dry down. But yeah, this is a beautiful, very traditional smelling rose. Uh, it's got a lot of other things going on in it, but it is very traditional smelling. But once it dries down, that deep dry down is amazing. So rose quartz is pink grapefruit, honeysuckle, night blooming jasmine, and uh, let's see, sorry, rose damask, white amber, sandal, and sandalwood. So it's a beautiful rose fragrance. Um, like I say, it smelled quite mature on me for a little while, but the dry down was really stunning, but I have, you know, 35 fra <laughs> rose fragrances in my collection. I don't need another, so that is rose quartz. Okay, this next one is another one that I have not had a chance to test yet. This is called Amber, so this is just a regular Amber fragrance. Very beautiful. Um, I am gonna test this one when it gets cold again next week. Ugh, it's a beautiful Amber. Mm, really beautiful, resinous Amber. Okay, so this is uh, Blood Orange, Labdanum, Tunisian Amber, and Musk. It's beautiful. It's a very, like I say, resinous smelling, traditional smelling amber. Um, it's beautiful. Do I think I'm probably going to need a whole bottle of it? Probably not um, because I have so many ambers in my collection and there's nothing like truly spectacular about this one. It's it is just an amber fragrance, but it is a beautiful, well done amber fragrance. So um, anyways, that is amber. Next one is a beautiful one. I have not had these, these last two, I have not had a chance to test yet. This is called diamond, but I can't wait to test this one because it smells amazing in the vial. Um, also, I will note here that if you order from the Sage Lifestyle website, they fill their one mil vials all the way to the top. If you go to Lucky Sense website, they put a little note on their samples. Um, like if you're going to buy a sample of this, they put a little note saying um, that because these are so highly concentrated, that they are only going to fill the vial halfway. So you're only going to get a half mil if you order them through Lucky Scent. So I really recommend ordering them from the Sage Lifestyle. Anyways, this one is called Diamond. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. It's super clean. Yeah, very clean, really beautiful. So um, let's see, Diamond is... Okay, Indian sandalwood, white crisp amber, clean oceanic must, and a touch of rain. So it's meant to be kind of like a light, sheer, clean, like translucent smelling fragrance. And it is, it's beautiful. I can't wait to, you know what? Let's just test it on my skin right now. Um, let's test this on my other hand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm in love with these oils. Oh, wow. It's clean smelling because it's got all the musks. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is beautiful. This would be for somebody who just wants to smell clean and amazing. Like if somebody smelled you, they would think that that's how you naturally smelled. Yeah, this would be perfect for somebody who doesn't really like perfume. They don't want to smell perfumey, but they want to smell amazing. People would think that that's just how you smell. It's beautiful. It's not strong enough for me. I'm, you know, I'm loud. So, and I like my fragrances to be loud. Um, so this one's not for me, but it is beautiful. And I can totally appreciate it for what it is. Stunning. So anyways, that one is called Diamond. And then last but not least is another one that I have not been able to test yet. And this is called Turquoise. And this is supposed to be an, um, 
like a, um, maybe I did test this one a little bit on my hand because my vial's not full. I probably did test it a little bit. But this is supposed to be um, kind of like an aquatic one. And uh, it's beautiful. Mm, I ha like I, I don't think I have tested this one yet. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a citrusy aquatic fragrance. Um, okay, so this is blue chamomile, grapefruit, cassis, ozone elements, um, watery flower infused musk, mysore sandalwood, and yeah, I think that's it. So it smells like a, oh gosh, it's very citrusy and a little bit aquatic, but it's a beautiful aquatic. It's not like a synthetic aquatic smell. It's gorgeous. It's clean. It's beautiful. I would have to see what that does on my skin. I can't imagine that I would want a full bottle of this one um, because these aren't my favorite kinds of scents, but oh my gosh, that sage and citrine one that I put on earlier is gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so the ones that I know I will be purchasing, well, I'm just going to go with the first. The Sage and Citrine, I love it, but I don't know that I'm going to buy a full bottle yet. But the ones that I know for sure I'm going to be buying in probably different formats because I love it so much is the Onyx. This is hands down my favorite thing that I smelled. It's beautiful. It's warm. It's probably the best coconut fragrance I've ever put on my skin like ever I adore it and then the moonstone because this is probably the most authentic smelling gardenia fragrance I've ever smelled and it's so beautiful and so well done and not over the top and smells so amazing on my skin so onyx and moonstone you guys will see full bottles of these coming soon so Anyways, guys, that is it for all of the fragrances that I tested from the Sage Lifestyle. I hope that you all enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.